So welcome back to iliveinmytruck.com and I'm here, I'm still in Kemmer, uh, Wyoming. I'm trying to make it to Burning Man in, near Nevada and I stopped at this little roadside area and I'm making some bean burritos and I uh, met a new friend Robert back here. He's an artist. He's uh, got some drawings. Let's go say hi to Robert. He's been working on, uh, how you doing? Pretty good. How good. You? Good. So what have you been drawing? You got some, yeah. oh nice. Yeah. Some, uh, some beautiful pencil work. Yeah. Um, but if you, are you hungry? You want a burrito? Uh, sure. Uh, I'll make one up for you. Sure. All right. So I'm just going to cook up some stuff here uh, with my friend Robert. And um, yeah, we'll check in with you a little bit later and see if he's got any new drawings. He's hard at work back there. So my recipe is pretty simple here. I just use uh, some refried beans, some, some whole black beans, some uh, cumin, some jalapeno and some uh, some Rotel uh, tomato chili mix. So I think it's going to be, I think it'll be pretty good. We'll heat it up with some Colby Jack cheese. we got some fresh salsa, the guacamole I made. Uh -huh. We're going to have a feast, my friend. So how long have you, you been drawing? Since kindergarten. You always like drawing? Yeah, that's when I started. Oh, today I'm still ahead. That's good. Uh, yeah, I, uh... Have you seen the, uh, the first, that first movie that came out of, um, Black Stallion? Black Stallion. Black Stallion? I don't know if I saw it. I think I heard of it. Yeah. The car cartoon? Or cartoon, or oh, cartoon? The, the, the... Storyboard artist? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's when I started sketching out. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, that's when I sketching, started sketching out, um... Takes a lot of um, yeah, passion and concentration yeah. and no noise. Yeah, solitude a little bit. Yeah. These people I hear, they were telling me that I, I got talent. Yeah. Yeah. I see that. Colors I do is um, I do acrylic, oil. You work with all different kinds of materials. Yeah, then, uh, right. Yeah. We're gonna check out his work. Uh, Robert Blackcoat's uh, gallery right here. Right? Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. Alright, we're gonna check our burritos out. I think they're almost done. Let's just take one off each and try it. You don't mind do you mind my hand? Sure. It's it's clean enough. Oh well. There we go. Not, not everyone, you know. I mean, people all have different gifts. I think mm -hmm. some people don't know how to use them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or some people struggle with just survival. They don't get a chance to even mm -hmm. express themselves that way. Yeah. Native American. You gotta be proud of that. A Navajo. Navajo. Navajo Nation. My friends are the ones that wanted me to keep them occupied of coming out this way because it's like a long drive. So they said, come on with? Yeah. So that's how I ended up over here. Gotcha. I'll see if I can make a little a little highlight clip of our interaction and put it on the internet and mm -hmm. give you a DVD of it. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe there'll be someone that uh, sees the work and says, you know, I like those drawings. I want to contact him. That'd be nice, you know? Or even, if, I think it's even nice that they look and see you and your work and just think good thoughts about, about that, you, that, you're, yeah. uh, that you're talented. And, yep. and maybe that'll project you further into your craft. So these are just the uh, drones that I did for this one. That's just, these are just the copies. Wait. You you drew these? Yeah. Well, really? Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, those are beautiful. Well, it was, it was great to meet you, Robert. Yeah. Same, same with you. Yeah, and maybe we'll see you tomorrow and uh, see if we can't get that print out of the museum and we'll go start your gallery. But if not, you got you got really great work and uh, 
It was an honor to meet you and share a meal with you. So thank you, my brother. And uh, mm -hmm. if I don't see you now, I'll see you somewhere down the road. Yeah. He was real nice. And, and um, once we got to know each other, we kind of felt comfortable. And, um, you know, he I was just going there to make my lunch, and he showed up with his sketch pad and, uh, and a, you know, a bottle of beer. And he asked if I had a, a cup that I could uh, offer him to pour it into. And we improvised and cut a plastic bottle in half so he could have a cup. And uh, he asked me if I wanted to buy one of his drawings, but I, I really wasn't interested in the drawings, but I did give him you know, a little bit of money for some art supplies or pencil and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have those. I think it's good for, for people to, uh, to connect with each other and have a real, you know, human interaction, uh, even if they're... He, he related to me, not on camera, but he related to me that people sometimes, you know, can just judge you and they don't he was talking about you know they look at you from the outside but they don't know the real you you know the you on the inside and he said that and, and I didn't get a chance to to uh, capture that sentiment but it was really touching and, and it made sense you know people judge each other without knowing anything and uh, they don't realize we're all just you know we're all kind of in this together and I don't know it was just a, it was a nice little afternoon a nice little uh visit with him and I, so I'm going to try to get this on get some of these clips I'm going to try to get some of these clips on uh, DVD for him so he can share it with his family in, um, back in uh, Arizona so yeah Robert Blackcoat good man